guard this city. Two mana. Um, uh, two mana gain three armor, so I'm going to 2-3 Naga with Taunt. So, like, Plated Beetle is a 2-mana 2-3 Death Rattle gain 3 armor. So this is, like, Plated Beetle with Taunt as a spell. Yeah, you might run this if you're, like, a warrior deck that wants to run big minions and, like, runs Vanguard or uh, some sort of mana cheating, like, pull up big minions thing. It's just a really good control warrior card, though. <laughs> it's just, like, an early game card that is fine in the early game that is also fine later because you gained the armor like armor is good i'll give that a three i'm gonna give it two um <clears throat> is that better than bash because they're putting bash back in the in the warrior pool well bash is three mana so it's a uh, deal three over a two or three taunt yeah bash might be better I'm not sure depends on the situation obviously, yeah. So. yeah and armor synergizes with more armor so maybe you run both Okay, okay, Dredge is a minion okay. or weapon. I'm, I'm, am I speaking this one, or you are? Uh, it's my turn. Okay, go ahead. Rare Warriors, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to repeat it all. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, two mana, Obsidian Smith. That'll cry Dredge. If it's a minion or weapon, give it plus one, plus one. So for a minion, it's just very underwhelming. For a weapon, plus one, plus one is a lot of damage. But, um, I mean, it's not that good. Right. I guess yeah, minion's terrible. A weapon is good. So if you can draw like your four mana weapon, but like I like Corsair Catch so much better than this. It is a pirate. You can run it in Pirate Warrior apparently. Um Yeah. Ooh, just because it's a pirate, probably uh pirate, I'll give it a two. But... Yeah, it's gonna see play. Uh on the the, the platinum ladder. Yeah, That's... it's not going to see play in competitive, but it's going to see play on ladder. Um, at the lower ranks, so sure. Uh, from the depths, you gave it a two, right? I gave you a two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, from the depths, reduce the cost of the bottom five cards of your deck by three, then dredge. So the bottom five cards of your deck, reducing them by three. This is so troll, like. <laughs> You're just cards that you're never gonna draw by three. Well, you draw one immediately, and then I mean, you can draw you draw one. one next turn, sure. Yeah, but you pay three mana for that. You need to dredge a lot, or to always draw your whole deck for this to even be like considered. Like, oh, it's a tradable. You can do a tradable and shuffle your deck, but they keep the discounts. Lots of warrior tradables. Wait, what? So I play this, I draw my card the next turn, and then I tradable. Tradable shuffles the deck, but the cards that got discounted still have the discounts. So you just randomly have four deck cards in your deck that are discounted by three. I think, oh, if you shuffle your deck, they keep the discount? Um, oh, this is yes. Finley. Okay, so this is only for Finley, right? There's a new Finley card, which is um, swap your hand with the bottom of your deck. So you would swap, you play three mana for that, and then you would swap your hand with five cards that are reduced by three. Yeah, this card seems insane. I'm going to give this a four. Oh, I give it a one. All right. I don't believe in it at all. Okay. When the, I'm wrecking the meta with Finley, Finley Warrior, you'll it's be sorry. Legend. It's three mana do nothing, and you have to have a legendary card for it to like do anything. And legendary not... card? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Or, or I can just dredge stuff whenever I want something, and it's discounted, so I can get. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, okay. So long term, this is uh twelve plus mana, which is seems. Right no, I mean, oh, twelve plus because I mean you have a lot 12, of one. 12, in 12, the yeah, I, I guess so. I guess a good point, but whatever. Mana cheating, good. I'm I'm a believer. So. Oh, okay. Forge into oh. flame. Two mana, two mana. Destroy your weapon and then draw cards equal to its attack. Uh, Good. Might be insane. I mean, what weapons are there? So there's a new man. There's a new three two weapon. I think Warhouse stays. But like, I can use it with Rocker's weapon to draw five cards. 
Yeah. But then you lose your weapon. But it's it's good with a five attack weapon. So it well, it's also you could do it with the Asher and Trident because you want to because you're gonna get the um, you're gonna shovel it to the bottom of your deck. Oh, so you oh so you can go Obsidian Smith after you go Asher and Sh this thing, and then you get the deal. This does uh, that's uh, sixteen damage from hand. Well, you I need mean, to dredge. You need to dredge again. Yeah, I mean, every card is dredge right now, so. No, but I, 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 mean, I don't know. Warriors has, has struggled for with the card draw for a while, so I think this is good. I'm going to give this a three. Um, I hope I, I hope this is good, um, but I don't think it is. I'll give it a uh, Oh. Two. Chat's letting me know the trident that, that's coming up it doesn't deal to the face, but you also could do the tradable weapon they're saying, so which also can so yeah, okay. Next we have uh, Ashar and Trident. Death huh. Rattle summon a sunken trident or the three two weapon, so a kind of a fury war axe, but it has death rattle. Put a sunken trident on the bottom of your deck. Sunken trident's the same thing, but it does after you your hero attacks deal two damage to all enemy minions. So, yeah, I think that sucks. But I don't know. I don't. I don't believe in in uh, dredge. I'll, I'll give all those cards a one. Maybe this does suck. I do like the drawing a bunch of cards though. But yeah, probably maybe this does suck. All right, give, I'm gonna give this a, a two. Okay. So. All right, uh, Lady Ashbane. Five and a five five Valkyrie. Give all min all weapons in your hand deck and battlefield plus one plus one. So this is like Crast Doctor Krastinov, but it also gives plus one plus one to like weapons. If you don't have a weapon, it also has an effect, I guess. I feel like this is really good. Like like people ran the green skin, and this is just objectively better than green skin. Yeah. Um I don't think Even people more stats. No. Yeah, it's a, it's much better than green skin. It's it's a very good card. Like I can just make my all weapon deck where I run twenty eight weapons and this and then two, yeah. and two and I run uh I run two uh I run twenty six weapons lady lady Ashras and forged in the flames. Okay, so, so like people don't understand how much better like how plus one plus one on a weapon is kind of insane. Yeah. So like I don't think this card is complete trash, but. Um, I'm gonna give it a four. So uh, the so how the format of three three weapon does that rotate? The one that draws cards? No, that's that's it that should be still around. Okay, and sure. bulwark rotates, right? Bulwark should rotate. Yeah. So okay. so uh, like scythe is that's oh that's your card. Uh, that rotates. But um, yeah. yeah. So oh, Raiders Axe, Forge of the Barons. Yep. Black so hammer sticks around too. Like there's there's no way that um. Other weapons take the place of Outrider's Axe and Control Warrior because of how strong Outrider's Axe is. So, like, the other weapon sucks because of that, and Outrider's Axe, destroying it to draw cards, like, it's already drawing cards. So, I don't like the other cards because of Axe, but this one with Outrider's Axe is fine. But, like, on turn 5, you don't really want to do that. I don't know. I'm not convinced. I think it's strong. I just don't think it's what Warrior wants. I'm gonna give, give it a four because that's what my heart tells me. So I'll give it a two. Okay. Uh trench stalker. Nine mana eight nine. Battle cry attack three random enemies. Different. So you can't yeah. attack these uh three times, which would be it would make the card a lot better. <laughs> if it it's would, just... it would be big. so um so they usually have one or two minions, and then it's like you kill the minion, and then you attack yeah. face eight for I, nine. I, I, I'm sure the deck that uh, is vulnerable will, will just there will be decks that just have eight health and no minions on board, being like, "Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine here against a meta trench stalker build." But yeah, I mean, I'm Dragon Queen Alex, not Dragon Queen, but Alex Straza already does that. Oh yeah, like this is this is trash. It's nine mana. Alex Straza yeah. is not one one one. This is yeah. So yeah. warrior, 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 warlock, and shaman. We ended on the three worst class, I think. 
Uh, we've got, me, we yeah. got we got a few more. Maybe I I don't know. I'm giving some of these warriors high ratings. So yeah, that's true. I I don't. Um, right. Replace okay, your fire, decks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fires out of Zin Ash as Shari. <laughs> Replace your deck with minions that cost five or more, and then they cost five. This is garbage. This so is, this so is kind of like the um, the, the the duels thing, right? The so. Kind of it's like, it's uh, like Archville and Rafam, where like oh, yeah. you know, it's seven mana make your deck worse. Uh, 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 it make your deck a lot a lot worse. Okay. I'm giving that a one. Spending two mana to make your deck worse is not something I'm into. <laughs> and then you make the bottom five cards two mana, true. All right. Oh, you're you're at the next one. You you gave it one. Sorry, I yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So black skill brute seven mana five six taunt battle cry. If you have a weapon equipped, summon a five six naga with rush. So if you have Gee. a weapon, yeah. Do you usually have a weapon on seven? This four's a rokara on seven. That's for sure. Hard so bad. Just like you think it's bad, right? I think if you make it. Just take out the weapon wing condition. I still put it at one. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. And then the last class card. Usually, Nelly. Usually brutes uh get discounts. So. Anyways. Yeah, true. It's not. I mean, it gets another one. So the other one's free. Um, Nelly the Great Thresher, seven mana, five five colossal. Battlecry discovered three uh, pirates to crew Nelly's ship, and Nelly's ship comes with the Nelly, which is a two six taunt, and as a death rattle, you add the pirates to your hand, and they cost one. So this is a lot of text for a card. So yeah. basically, play a seven mana five five, uh, and a two six taunt for seven mana, and then when a two six taunt dies, you get three pirates that you previously discovered. And they cost one, and they're in your hand. Think um, about this: like one, this is tons of value. You could get some higher yeah. pirates. But now I could play a control warrior build that runs like no pirates, if I wanted to, just to give me inevitability in certain matchups, you know. And I can like I can run this as like my kind of giving me three more pirates. Maybe that's bad, but like that's an option. Kazakhstan, like. Well, you, <laughs> the math works out to just under 50 percent chance to get Mr. Smite. Is it? Wow! If you get Mr. Sh I didn't think about Mr. Smite, and you could just run Mr. Smite. Oh, oh my God. true. Okay. Okay, that makes it better. Because okay, I'll give it. Yeah, I, I would have given twenty bursts of the control deck. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a three. The Smite. Mis remembering Mr. Smite is a card makes me put this up to a four. So. Damn. Four. Okay. Because you need a one mana miss, Mr. Smite. Like, no, yeah, that's true. Us. That's true. It is. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, neutral cards. Uh, do you want All me right. to do them? Sure. I'm drinking my tea. So, yeah. Okay. All right. The first one is a one mana 4 3 that can't attack. Helmet, Hermit. <laughs> um, it might be good in the, in the priest, silence priest. Uh, other than that, it's kind of trash. I think it's like. I think it's a two, though. I don't want to give it a one. It's a lot of stats. It, it, the one it, it has a unique effect. I I don't like discount. Like, there's no other card quite like this. So I'm gonna give it a two myself. Yeah. I think it could just see play. Six mana mothership. Um, five four mech with rush. Death rattle summon two random mechs that cost three or less. So. Is this really good. I feel like this might be really good. In a mech deck, it's six mana, but I guess with mage it might be five mana. Um, then I play it, I kill something, and I summon like you know maybe four four mana worth of stat of, of minions. You know, sometimes I yeah. roll like a divine shield taunt. I guess. I can't get. I'll get. I'm gonna give it a two. So. Same. But I, I thought you were talking it up to like a three or a four, but. Yeah, well, yeah. I more like uh, I. Not quite a three. 
It looks like Next playable card. in a mech deck, you know? Yeah. Maybe, but it's like your last card you put in your deck if there's not enough good cards. Maybe, there. maybe not. Maybe it's just Jandis or uh, I don't know, but Jandis at six mana doesn't even see play, so. Right. That's true. Uh, Merc Water Scribe, two mana, three, two. Battle Cry, your next spell you play costs one less. So it's like a studies card, but on a 3 2 body that costs two. Then you don't discover. It's not like a studies card, I guess. Um, you get some discounts. It's a Naga, which is good because oh, yeah. cheap Nagas are useful for a lot of spells. Oh, yeah. You can use this with your four mana 2 5 combo that you go inevitable and you just keep getting <clears> your mana refreshed. So. That's true. So it has a lot of synergy. That's the idea. It actually yeah. might be really useful. Like it's not it's not good on its own. Definitely not. But I think it okay. has enough synergy with some decks that it will see some fringe play. Okay, I'll give it to him. Yeah. And all neutral cards are just twos from the both of us. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Next next one. <laughs> uh Naval Mind. Two minus <laughs> zero two. Death Rattle deal four damage to the enemy hero. I think this one's a a zero or a one. Wait, what if I is there any way I can get like a bunch of these and then make them all go off? Oh, cheap all. That's such a good point. This is so much easier to do than all. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. That's true. Dude, 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 ch dude chat chat OP. Uh the, now they get they, they So they get... seven times four is twenty-eight though. So you then have you to play, have a... then you play what curse that you can do another two damage to them. So <laughs> <laughs> that's not how curse works. Uh, you have to save your Tams in, which is not great. Yeah, but like sometimes you get some face damage. Uh that's true. Oh remember this one this one does four damage to the face, so if they're a non healing class, it's enough to win. Um yeah. Oh damn, healing... I didn't think of that. Alright, I'll give it a I'll give it a two. Yeah, I'll give it a two. Okay, we're we keep just <laughs> okay. Okay, here's here's what I'm not gonna give it two. This one's all right. Gorlock, Raver, Ranger, Battle Cry, draw three Murlocs. Five and a four three. Battle Cry, draw three Murlocs. So there's a warrior card that is a three five that draws three of tribes that was played before, but with better stats. But this is a Murloc that draws three Murlocs. You you also had to like run awkward dragons, so you had to like this this just yeah. I mean, this is way easier to use. It is five yeah, mana though. Yeah. Okay. It can be it can be five health instead of five mana. Oh, that's oh yeah. Play this, you get that. All right, I'm gonna give this a four. So. <laughs> four? Okay, I'll give it a two. I mean, look. There's no way Murloc... If Murloc decks are good, it's because of this card. That's what I'm going to say, all right? Okay. So, okay. Wait, wait, remember Finja? This is so much worse than Finja. Is it? What's, what did Finja do? Oh, Finja. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I, I, oh, I couldn't afford Finja. It was uh, in the early days of Hearthstone, and I didn't have the dust for it. It was an old card, so I never got to play Finja. Finja was... You just put Finja, War Leaders, and Bluegills in every deck. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. Okay, Puffer List. No, Puffer Fist. I can't read. 3 mana, 3, 4. After your hero attacks, deal 1 damage to all enemies. Um, so I'm running this in in in, in my rogue. Pirate Rogue, and I'm running this in my crappy Platinum Pirate Warrior, so I think it's good in both. Oh, okay. So you want to go give it a three? Yeah, I want to give it a three. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a two. It's a neutral. Also, I don't think it's like I I, I can't give that a three because it's not. I think this card's actually really good. Like, I I think these like any rogue like any card after here attacks do something powerful. Up for three mana is a good card in my book. Oh wait, with a DH spell, the one mana spell that you make you attack twice. <clears throat> oh. And if you play two of the DH spell in the same turn, you can attack three turns, three times. You lose Clear some the value. Board. It's all enemies too, so it goes face. So, okay, what did John Bray say? I missed it. Okay, okay, I'll give it a three. Sure. All right. Convinced me. No, I'll give it a two. Okay. I would not play that in my Demon Hunter. I refuse. 
Rainbow okay. Glow Scale. The Naga. So let's yeah. spell that. Uh, yeah, River Croc Naga with spell damage plus one. I don't think it's good right now. I think it, it's going to get run because of Naga synergy. Somebody's going to need it. Not because the spell damage kind of sucks, but I think it's only because of Naga synergy. So I'm going to give it a two. Okay. I'll give it a one, actually. Break the chain of twos. Reef Walker. Three mana, three, two. Battle Cry and Death Rattle. So I'm going to one, one Piranha Swarmer. Is that good? Three mana, three, two. Wait, no, it's not. It's bad. I think it's a one also. For I sure. give it a one. Yeah. Okay. Sea Scout Operator. Three mana, two, four. Battle Cry. If you control a mech, summon two, two, one mechs. <clears throat> it's not a mech itself. Yeah. Um. So it can't get discounted or drawn with the, the this. How good is three mana two four battle cry summon two two once? Really good. Like really would you good. play that in every aggro deck? Yeah, if if it, if it were unconditional, this card would be the strongest card in the three drop in the game. Okay. Uh, condition is really hard to meet though. It is. Well, you play you play the one drop, but they're, they if this card's meta, they're gonna try to do everything they can to yeah. stop it. But I think I'll give this a three. Um. I think I think mech, mech decks run this. Yeah. And it's also, mech can reduce mechs to zero and then play that. On, oh, that's true. Yeah. Or like two so, one and down four. Yep. Okay. I can see that. Uh, security automaton. Two minute one three f three summon a mech gain plus one plus one. Ooh. I'm not sure about that. I first thought this was bad, but then I realized it's like summon, not play. So like you could play this on two. Like if you know a deck is bad at dealing with like one threes on turn two, you know, and then you play your three drop, and then it's a three five and it hits the face, you know. Um, yeah. Or you it's like just... a maker, like it, it just like keeps growing and growing. Yeah. It's like questing adventure, but harder to kill. But like for questing only from X, but yeah, or hand buff it, yeah. Ah, oh, am I? Maybe this card is good. I thought this was garbage at first, but maybe it's good. Yeah. I'll give it a three. All right, I'll give it a three too. Mech mage. All right. Oh. S self. Uh, well, go ahead. How about you say some uh, neutrals? Yeah. Yeah. Four mana, seven seven. Uh, selfish shellfish. Nice name. That's pretty much. Uh, death rattle. Your opponent draws two cards. This is a uh, complete trash. I don't four. know. I could go from four to one. Uh. Four mana seven seven with no other text right now is not good enough, and this you make your opponent draw two cards. It's like this is Maybe, a yeah, okay. So I run this in priest. Um, I have four mana seven sevens, and then I just have them uh, go through their whole deck, and I revive this. You know, like I mill them. That probably doesn't work actually. Oh, in silence priest, maybe that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, silence. Yeah. But yeah. I mean. You don't want your Silence Breeze deck to run minions that you have to silence or else you can't play them. Like Humongous Razor Leaf, you play it, it's the threat of, because you can silence it. This, you play it, and they kill it, and they drew two cards. Like, imagine How do they kill a, it? Because it's so overstatted. And... They're playing a control deck. They, uh, they okay. coerce, Or they coerce, or they shield slam, or they... they... Oh, I can play this in Beast Druid because um, it has the beast synergy. True. Yeah, I gave it a I gave it a one already. I'll give I'm it a not... three just to be more fun. So <laughs> three. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how I don't think you're gonna try that card in any deck. I think you might start building a deck with it and give up. Yeah, that's a good point. That's probably not. <laughs> yeah. I, I know what you mean. You you put these ratings out and then you actually go to theorycraft decks and like you realize it's terrible as you're theory crafting, you know? So Oh, and the next one is like a better Argent Squire. One mana one one mech. Divine Shield, Battle Cry, give a random mech in your hand, plus one, plus one. This card's insane. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah, I'm going to give it a three. I wouldn't give it a four. I don't think that... I mean, uh, any deck that runs, like, a few mechs, I mean, one mana, one, one Divine Shields are 
C play yeah. as is, and then you make this is upside, you know, and it has max energy and it can get discounted to zero mana. Like yeah. it's insane. Next one, treasure guard. Um three mana one five taunt death arrow draw a card. It's a one, right? I don't know. Is this good? Like is this uh do I run this in my priest? I don't know. Is the Naga synergy? So I can play it with my like I can play this in priest, play it. And then I don't lose value, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You have a three mana draw three cards. You have Pyromancer, Cleric, and uh, the one mana spell that draws a card for... This That's protects kind of... my Cleric because it has Taunt, you know? So. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Um, give that a one because I, I don't think they... I'll, I'm going to give it a two, all right? Because it's not good. I think it's going to be enough good cards that decks don't have to, you know... Yeah. Play that and hate themselves. Um, right. Twin, Twin, Fin, Twin. Three mana, two, one, Rush, Battlecry, so, co- summon a copy of this. There's For all this- these, these Murloc buff cards, you know? So you buff this up, and then <clears throat> uh, you have two six fives that you rush into stuff. Yeah. For three mana. That's yeah. true. I'll give that a two. I'll give it a two. Yeah. Oh. I thought you should give it a three. Because of how you rated other Murlocs. Now. I'm just giving all Murloc cards twos across the oh. board, pretty much. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, one mana. Uh, right. One mana, one three. After you cast a spell, gain plus one attack until your next turn. So this is a neutral mana worm. Yeah. Except it's until one your time. next turn, which More is... Like... A, it's a lot better than until the end of, like, this turn. Because oh, your opponent still has to... Your punt won't value trade it. Yeah. Because they're going to have the attack. I think this is really good. Uh, not a four, but I think I'm going to give it a three. It's going to be running like every Naga deck. Yeah. I'll give it a four or a three. I guess a three. <clears throat> I, I saw this card when I was prepping. I have no idea what this card does. I don't know. Anyways, go ahead and read it. Barbaric Sorceress. Uh, six mana three seven taunt battle cry swap the cost of a random spell in each spell in each player's hand. So you play a deck with only ten mana spells, and then you play that, and then your ten mana spell is like three mana, and their three mana spell is ten mana. Oh, you play this in amulet mage. There's JJ saying, yeah, actually kind of insane. Yeah, yeah. except it's not. A- I mean, this I, I can see this card being like randomly the OP card of the set, but like you, you just play a deck cards. With only like super expensive cards, and and then it does have you know, taunt. Taunt is good. Like I like when things have taunt. Let's say your opponent has a prep in hand, and then you just like fucking play that, and then your amulet is free, and their prep is ten mana. And you can play Amulet right away. I'm sure when when this deck becomes meta, everyone will be holding on to preps. You know, like <laughs> to play play around uh counter spell, you know? So I don't know. Exactly. Um, I'll give that card a two. I'll give it a two because I don't want to think about it. Okay. It's uh, a Naga, so it's got Naga synergy. We can't we can't uh, underrate that. Uh, Naga Synergy is only good for cheap Naga cards, I think. Oh, okay. And, yeah. <clears throat> so, 5 mana, Asharan, Sentinel, Taunt, Death Rattle, put a Sunken Sentinel at the bottom of your deck. So, it's a 5 mana, 5, 6, Taunt. And at the bottom of your deck, you get a 5 mana, 5, 6, Divine Shield, Taunt, Life Steal. Wait. Divine Shield, Taunt, and Life Steal together are pretty good. Yeah, Not I mean, a- this this card's kind of like the one mana one three, um, that uh, some got you the six eight life steal taunt that can't be targeted. Yeah, but it's a five mana five six. Yeah, one. Oh, so, yeah, I think it's a one. Yeah, the only card deck I could see running it is priest. To you run this card and to give yourself uh, more fatigue. Oh yeah. Um. With like a, right. de- a death rattle priest, a deck that's always been terrible, so I'm not sure, but yeah, but death rattle priest has a lot of synergy with it, I suppose. Yeah, so 
You can play that rogue with the eight mana spell, and then oh, that's a good point. You you just yeah, put, you just put something at the bottom of your deck, so then you still have to dredge into it. But oh shoot, how did I... Chad is asking how this is in a mech. Yeah, that's a good point, dude. It's weird when like the devs decide they don't want something to be a mech because it'd be too OP as a mech. Apparently, even though it's not too OP as a mech. Yeah, this would not. This would really not. Yeah. Okay, next one. Five mana four four battle cry choose a friendly mech, summon a copy of it with rush, wind fury, and divine shield. So this is only good if it's a big mech, right? Yeah, so it's kind of like a faceless manipulator with a body though. So it's like it's like Bloodsworn Mercenary for mech. But I mean the copy has rush, wind fury, and divine shield. This is yeah. good. This might be insane. I mean greetings. Yeah. Um yeah, I think that's a, a three or a four. I'll give it a three. I'm going to give it a four. Because so. I think it's hard to start your turn with a big mech on board. And with a small mech, it's bad. Uh, I'll give it a four. Yeah. All right. Uh, three mana, some other ring starfish. Battle cry, silence all other minions. So this can't be a one because Snowfall Guardian. I think this is like an insane tech card that, that yeah. changes the game that I could see every deck running if the, the meta warps to it. But even yeah. though it's a I tech think... card, I'm going to give you a, it a four. I think it's just oh, so good. Like Viper type of four? Yeah. Yeah. Vi Vi Viper's probably a four. Like it's running a bazillion decks, you know? Yeah. And it also it has some purpose in uh, Silence Priest, if that's yeah. a thing. You could silence your own minions. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Uh, I give it a three, but. Uh, next one is Cool Teacher. Four mana, five four. That'll probably add a one one nag naggling to your hand. Discover a spell that costs three or less to teach it. So the one one cast a spell that costs three or less that you discovered. Um, would you? Th I think this is better than Kazakus. Yeah. So Maybe. so it's 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 a three mana spell. So it's kind of like discover three mana spell or less, but it's discounted. So it's like. You get some little discounts, uh, and you get a one-one body that you wouldn't normally get. It uh, so it also has some like can't be countered, like it's you know yeah. doesn't get wrecked by Trog, but uh, also has all that Naga synergy. So you could like get this one mana card and then go off with your four mana two five that I rated as a one and win the game. You know? Yeah. Oh, it's another Naga. That's true. Oh. I don't think it's as strong as the Naga class cards, but that's how. You know, neutral cards go usually. This is a legendary. It's an epic, so you can do it twice. Teach it full blown evil. Interesting. Yeah. What is full blown evil? <laughs> the yeah, the three damage, five five damage to three enemy minions. Oh, so you play that, and then you get a three mana full blown evil in your hand. Yeah. Right. Echo. You don't you don't get another one one in your hand that casts full blown evil, right? That would, <laughs> be, that would be insane. Yeah. But I don't, I, you don't play that card in Warlock to start with. Unless it's Reno Lock and you really need like, well, why wouldn't I? I put this in uh, my my Murloc Warlock, so it's gonna break the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give this a three to be more fun. Uh, I, yeah. I I'm gonna be so off this 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 uh, this expansion. I can feel it. That's I've, fine. I I've uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm rating things terribly, but whatever. So oh, Naga Giant, 20 mana. Costs one less for each mana you spent on spells that game. So Urzul Giant is still not seen like competitive play. Um what is Urzul Giant? The 13 mana giant. So just because it's a giant doesn't guarantee it's easy play, but Oh yeah, that but that one is complete trash because like you have to have minions die and aggro decks want to have their minions yeah. live to a base. So like Either you're losing and you got an 8 8 that you can play for like six mana and it doesn't win you the game, or you're winning and then you got yeah. something stuck in your hand that you can't play. <clears throat> this one, you have to 20 mana is a lot. Yeah. 20 mana is a lot of mana to spend on spells, especially for like and it doesn't have taunt, so like you have to you have to you have to win board back and then place this as your threat, you know? Yeah. So let's let's think Shervala, right? Shervala is twenty five mana. This, oh, but yeah. much better. Yeah. Um, but twenty mana. I mean, that means you can play it when Shervala, 
We can play for free when Shrivala was, you know, five, five mana. mana. I don't think it's OP OP, but I, I think it's for sure gonna see play in some decks. I don't think it's in a deck that you expect. Like tempo decks that play a lot of spells, they usually discount their spells and play their spells for one or free. So this will be too hard to play. But like well, in some, you, you read this in Gov Druid, and you play it for the whole twenty mana. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the PL. Uh, ridiculous hats that uh, if I ever played uh, an owl for seven mana, he'd give se seven gift subs. So, because I was like, it was a seven mana four four. But it was a singular card. Yeah. All right. I'll give it a two. I'll give it a three for sure. I, I, okay. I was thinking of a four, and I think I talked myself down to a three. I think it's going to be played in a lot of decks. Okay. Uh, Gangplank Diver. 5 mana, 6, 4. Dormant for one turn. Rush immune while attacking. I know you like dormant cards, but I, I think this oh, one this might is be... so... why. Why is this like... Oh, I get that it's immune. Like, why is this 5 mana? This is so... Like, oh, it's... Oh, so I can smite combo it. Oh, big freaking whoop. So... Oh, I didn't see. Uh, I didn't... It's still terrible. I'm giving this a 1. I feel like they could have made that card 1 or 2 mana. I guess it's dormant for one turn, so it's for next turn. Five mana yeah, cards yeah. have to be the shit. Like even better than four mana cards. All right, four mana cards. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the yeah, I'm gonna give this a one. Yeah, this, this is so bad. It, it, they it's just a random bad pirate for your uh, yeah. pirate like like for the ship, so that you don't high roll smite as often that they printed. Um, okay, question. If I okay. We confirmed this, right? If I play the two mana fire spell on this slime scale diver, it doesn't give poisonous to everything, right? Like, it doesn't poison kill the whole board, right? Oh, because we remember it doesn't life steal, right? Okay, so then okay, but this is this is a little bit better though, like because you can play this on three and clear off like it still kind of sucks. Play this on three, and then they play four mana seven seven that draws you two cards. Oh, you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone is playing the side skill diver. I'm definitely gonna play my four mana seven. It's the four. <laughs> I, I give it. Uh, I'll one. give this. Uh, I'll give this a one as well. So, um, a Drek'thar minion. Nah. Uh, one mana four one dormant for one turn rush pelican Dr diver. I feel like it's a, it's a beast, but like if it wasn't dormant, would I even play it? Let's go as a four one rush. Yeah, like this is like um the the card that could become a one three rush or a three one rush. Yeah, I feel like it would be balanced as a four one rush because there's no flexibility. I also can play this uh, and time my composting plays really well with this. Oh, so you can. Yeah. You think more about Beastrid. Uh, I, I, I've, I... I've been playing nothing but Beastrid this week, so. I'm getting my tempo fundamentals down. So. Yeah. Um, After, the rotation... After a rotation, tempo is always good. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give this a two. I'll give it a one. I don't think, I don't think you're going to put it in your Beastrid. Oh, I will uh, for one game, and then I'll take it out. So, uh, right. Queen Ashara. It's a five mana five five Naga battle cry. If you've cast three spells while holding this, choose an ancient relic. And I guess you always get all the options, right? I, I don't know. I haven't seen this. Okay. So, so the I option, <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember that card either. So you have to have cast three spells while holding this, and then you get. Uh, after you cast a spell, this becomes a copy of it that costs one. Hmm. So it's a it's a costless card. Yeah, so you could play like Flame Strike, and then it's one mana. But it looks like it, it keeps changing, or does it does it keep yeah. changing, or like so if you play another spell, it's another, or is it the first one you do? It probably keeps changing. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then Horn of the a of Ancients. Add a random colossal minion to your hand. It costs one. That one's kind of insane. Yeah, it's really insane. 
Like, that's every game. If you cast three spells while holding this, turn five, you play that. Turn six, you get a one-minute colossal minion. Yeah. It's yeah. a random one. Though. You don't get to pick it. Yeah. But still. And one of them is a weapon, a zero five weapon, uh, two mana. After you cast a spell, deal two damage to the enemy hero and lose one durability. So, two mana deal ten for certain decks that have lots of spells. Kind of shitty. I don't feel like that's good. I mean, it's since you can pick when to like you can choose when to pick it. It's kind of insane, right? Your opponent's yeah, at ten. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. It's kind of insane. And then uh, Tidestone of Golganeth. Those names. Damn. Uh, one man shuffle five random spells into your deck. Set their cost to one. Draw two cards. That's really so, good, right? Yeah. One mana spells. That's kind of like... that's kind, This reminds me of a deck of Lunacy, which is, you know, yeah. kind of... But, the, but you get the draw two immediately. And it costs one. Kind of insane, actually. Yeah. All right, I'll give this a three. I'm not convinced enough to give it a four. But I'll give it a three. Uh, the the good thing with this is you don't have to play it in a Naga deck. Yeah. It's like a really it's good... more of like, a spell deck, right? Like. Yeah, you play that in any tempo deck. Yeah, like... Or I feel like you, you could put this in a... Um, like some weird spell deck as a proactive win condition. You get, like, you get Horn of the Agents or something like that. So. This is the new Lothab. So... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'll give it a four. Okay. You give it a three. Yeah, I give it a three. Yeah, I don't actually believe it's a four, but just in case, I'll look smart. Okay. Um. <laughs> so this one is seven mana, five nine battle cry. If you've cast three spells while holding this, deal three damage to all enemies. Um. There's a Bissell Enforcer now in Warlock. I don't know. I mean, this is a Naga, but you have to have cast three spells. This card is so freaking bad. Like, if, okay, if it, here's the test. If if it wasn't three spells, if it was just deal three to all enemy minions, all enemies, it's, I would still want to run this card, you know? You would play it in Reno decks. Okay, in Arena. All right. I'm going to give it a one, so. Yeah, I'll give it a one because of the condition. Otherwise, I think I would give it a two. Or three. I don't know if it's a three. If it's I guess maybe you run it in like a druid or a class that like has really bad clears, but like spammy druid, druid has a, and druid scales has, seem better. Druid has a lot of seven mana cards. Yeah. So yeah, yeah there's a lot of competition for seven mana cards right now. Okay, three mana, three four. Uh, Battle cry. If you've cast a spell while holding this, draw a naga. That's just decent, right? Yeah, you get the tutor your nagas three minutes like so. I think it's a three. Value. I think so. Okay. All right. Give it three. Okay. I'll give it three as well. How would you rate the secret paladin card that three mana three four draw minion? Would you wait, like wait, which which one? Uh, the paladin three mana three four. If you're holding a secret, draw a minion. Oh yeah, I guess that's like. That's a three. It was like it was played in. Secret yeah. Paladin. Yep. I guess so. It's I guess it's pretty good. So yeah. And the, the, this condition is actually like easier to meet in a way. So, um, Baba Naga, four mana, four four battlecry. If you've cast a spell while holding this, deal three damage. I think that's trash. One, yeah. Remember, four mana cards need to be busted. Yeah, this is not busted. All right. This used to be like there used to be a lot of cards like this that costs five, and it was mm -hmm. like good. But I think in today's Hearthstone, even if a four, it's not good enough. Like Blackwing yeah. Corrupt was like yeah. considered really good format three six uh battle cry dredge reduce its cost by one excavation specialist that's that's got to be a one to me okay yeah i agree so <clears throat> flanking strike is good but this is trash flanking Wait, strike look at this if you've cast a spell while holding this deal three damage oh i see what they're saying this is like flanking strike. And flanking strike is broken. But, but uh not broken. You you wouldn't play flanking strike now. Oh, uh, maybe. When people played one minion at a time and every deck was a tempo deck. Oh yeah. And you know, yeah, so okay. Like flanking strike is good if the meta is a fucking pirate warrior like quest warrior meta. But 
not many decks do that anymore. I, th I think that's a one. I think the next one's a one also. Prana Swarmer, if you summon Prana Swarmer, gain one plus one attack. I wonder if any of these make it into Beast Druid, but I don't think so. I'll give it a one. So, well, well, how how long till Piranha 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 something becomes the strongest deck in the game? Somehow, uh, so, there's some some synergy. There's some like five head play. I don't know. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it either. Unless you can give them all charge, but yeah, I don't get like. How is this possibly going to be a good card? Like, can someone explain to me? You know? I don't Ooh, know. I'm the deep. That's a really good card. The next one. Oh. Uh, 2023, Battle Cry, choose a friendly minion. Discover a minion of the same minion type. So you play Ooh. that in, like... You got, okay. Choose a, so you have, to have, you have to have a friendly minion on board to discover it, but... Yeah. But, like, it reminds me of, like, Crackling Razor Maw, except value instead of tempo. Yeah, but you and, can you don't have to play it on two. You can play it later. And what's like, Amalgadon saw play as a three mana three four just because it's all types. So, mm -hmm. like the all can be very important, you know. Oh, so, it also activates Naga synergy. Yeah, I right, give it a but three. You don't play that in Naga decks. You, you have enough good cheap Naga. But yeah, I'll give that one a three for sure. It's gonna see play in tribe decks if those are a thing. It's like it's a card you play in. Quest Warrior also, because it's a pirate. You play it and you're a pirate rogue because you have oh, to yeah. have like eight pirates played. Like you just And you get it. a free pirate, yeah. Oh, Finley. Sir Finley Sea Guide. One out one three battle cry, swap your hand with the bottom of your deck. Um does anyone know if that counts as drawing cards for like How does a... this work? Yeah. Do you get like if I have a zero mana hand, do I get nothing there? So it's a swap. Hand? I think you get the same amount of cards. It's not, it's not draw. Uh, uh, draw. It would be insane with the DH quest. But um, it's straight swap. Okay, so the more cards you have, the better. So it's like secret passage. It's more like plot twist. Yeah, it's more like. But I. But you, the more cards you have, the more cards you get from the bottom of your deck. Okay. But then we have some like OP bottom of the card of the deck, and you could just use this to re-roll your hand, you know? Yeah, and it's a one on one three. It's not like two mana re-roll your hand. It's yeah. a one on three re-roll. So it's always yeah. like yeah. It's awkward when you have uh when you have this, but you have a good hand and you don't want to get rid of it, but you want to play a one drop. But yeah, yeah. I think it's a two or a three for me. I'll give it a three. It's a Merlock, right? So you play it in your Merlock yeah. deck. Yeah. I'll give it a three. I think it's going to find some place. And I don't think it's going to be staple in every deck, though. I don't know if any of those cards are staple in every deck. I think they made they made the game so that different decks want different cards, which is nice, I guess. Yeah. Like There, there used to be a time where, like, you know, a Haunted Creeper was played in every deck and Sludge Belcher. But not anymore. Uh, Ambas Ambassador Phelan, 4 mana, 4, 5, Yeti. Uh, Battlecry put three colossal minions at, on the bottom of your deck. This kind of reminds me of the 5 4 uh, Death Rattle for <clears throat> Warlock that seen fringe play, you know? Yeah. Colossal versus Prime. Yeah. This See, you can just play that and then Finley or like Dredge your things right away, though. But yeah, so I guess a lot of the, I could do a lot of the, the colossal do have immediate impact, so that's good. And it's also Battlecry, which is better than Death Rattle, and it's a yeah. 4 and a 4 better than five, five and a four four yeah i guess i'll give this a two yeah i give it a two because it's because gonna be I'm like tournament like running it like control try to beat control if yeah otk i don't know and like uh, it control decks become the best decks and like everyone's just trying to outbreed other control decks then maybe although no because because akasan yeah who wants to play that over Kazakazan? I don't know. You, you can't play Kazakazan anymore because my pirate deck just steals all your treasures. So. Oh, true. Okay, I see. So, easy. Play Master Okani. Uh, That's already three. seeing. Yeah, three? 
Is this a three? I feel like it's, is it a two or a three in the current meta? I guess it's, it's he's played in wild. Okay, it's a three. It's a three. That's good. And last card, two mana, two, three, battle cry, dredge. That's so anticlimactic. That's the least interesting card. I mean, it has py pirate synergy and dread synergy, so I think it's oh, a two. Oh, pirate. Oh, okay. So. I think it's a two. Like, it's, sure. gonna, like, uh, it's gonna be a, a 24th card in a pirate deck, you know? <clears throat> yeah, 29th. 30. I don't think it's 29th. I think it's 26th, like 24th. There's yeah. going to be some bad cards they make the make into these pirate decks. So, yeah. so maybe I think. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that's yeah, all of them. One. I don't believe in that last one. All right.